Oh, this is the Bride of Christ here. All the glory goes to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. And this is the first book of Adam and Eve, and this is chapter 49. Please accept Lord Jesus Christ as your... Uh, <clears throat> please accept Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. He died on the cross for your sins. He shed his precious blood for you, and he loves you more than anything. And he's coming so soon. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, Yeshua Yamasha. Come on. Hallelujah. Got something very important to tell you. Lord Jesus Christ is coming. Anyway, <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and life. You cannot get to heaven and and to God Almighty, the Father, without accepting Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, for He is the Son of God, and He, and he loves you more than anything. He shares precious blood for you, and He loves you. He is the way, the truth, and the life, and the only way to heaven. Please accept Him as your Savior today, for time is short, and you may not have tomorrow. Anyway, this chapter is called The First Prophecy prophecy of the resurrection yahoo the first prophecy of the resurrection let's begin then the word of god came and said "O oh, adam who counseled you when you came out of the cave to come to this place and adam said to god "O oh, lord we came to this place because of the heat of the fire that came over us inside the cave Then the Lord God said to Adam, O oh, Adam, you dreaded the heat of fire for one night, but how will it be when you live in hell? Yet, O oh, Adam, do not be afraid, and do not believe that I have placed this dome of rock over you to plague you with it. It came from Satan who had promised you the Godhead and majesty. It is he who threw down this rock to kill you under it and Eve with you and thus to prevent you from living on the earth. But in mercy for you, just as that rock was falling down on you, I commanded it to form a dome over you, and the rock under you to lower itself. And this sign, O Adam, will happen to me at my coming on earth. Satan will raise the people of the Jews to put me to death. And they will lay me in a rock and seal a large stone over me. And I shall remain within that rock three days and three nights. But on the third day I shall rise again. And it shall be salvation to you, O Adam, and to your descendants to believe in me. But, O oh Adam, I will not bring you from under this rock until three days and three nights have passed. And God withdrew his word from Adam. But Adam and Eve lived under the rock three days and three nights, as God had told them. And God did so to them because they had left their cave and had come to this place without God's order. But after three days and three nights, God created an opening in the dome of rock and allowed them to get out from under it. Their flesh was dried up, and their eyes and hearts were troubled from crying and sorrow. And Lord Jesus Christ, in name, amen. The three days and three nights huh, <laughs> kind of does remind me of the three days of darkness. Think about it. Lord Jesus Christ stayed in, and stayed in that dome. I mean, stayed in that a tomb for three days, and then on the third day, <clears throat> the rock rolled out and he was let out and he was freed. And it's the same thing with the three days of darkness. It's just like with Adam and Eve being trapped under that dome. They were in pure darkness, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just going to state that. I do believe that they were probably in darkness. Maybe some little light came through a hole. I don't know. But it is like the three days of darkness being trapped under darkness for three days. And like Adam and Eve, 
our hearts and eyes are going to be troubled from crying and sorrow because we'll, we'll humble ourselves before the Lord for those that go through the three days of darkness. For more information about three days of darkness, uh, I do have videos uh, on my channel. You can check them out if you are willing and want to. So, and I'll be back as the Lord leads. This was del this was a real deliciously de delicious read. Could you imagine being trapped? <laughs> under a dome of rock for three days. But God is an amazing, almighty God. I'll be back as the Lord leads.